We're back, baby. A new Valorant map has just dropped, and you know what that means. New lore. <laughs> I love Valorant lore. If you could not tell from the other videos on my channel and my clear excitement today. So we're gonna go through a lore thread. First, we're gonna go through the trailer. We're gonna watch the cinematic trailer. I already saw some of the playthrough from the Master Shanghai show match. Congratulations, Genji, on winning. Shout out Pacific, you finally got an international title. So we're not gonna focus a lot on the gameplay today. We're gonna just focus on the lore. We have a Valorant lore thread huh? from Strawberry7. My light just turned off, so that's really inconvenient. So we have another lore thread from Strawberry79. We used them on the last lore thread for Clove. So we're going to go through their Twitter thread and we're going to react to the trailer. We have the video pulled up. Make sure I don't blow my eardrums out. All right, let's watch the trailer. I'm so excited. Abyss. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, I love Omen. Yes, Clove! I love Clove. Oh. Clove is so cool. They are strapped, yo. What's the economy on this team? Okay. I love that this trailer you get to see them like fighting in the map. I think that is so cool. I love this take. Clove is just one shotting them with specters. They don't have shields or anything. <laughs> Wait, can we go back? Hold on. You guys see that? All of the Valorant knives and stuff in the background? That's a cool feature. What card is I wonder I wanna know what banner that is. That'd be really cool. I love that. That is a really cool feature. So they're they're fight they're they want to fight. Oh. Classic fake omen TP. Classic. Classic. Classic omen play. I love that. Pulls out the ghost. Yep. Clove is just so cool. Oh, one shot through the smoke with the metal. That's insane. I love that. I love that showcase of Clove's abilities. And Iso has a shield. That's why he doesn't die. Yeah. That's cool. I love it. I love how they're showing their abilities like in combat situations. I love it. <laughs> I love it. He tried to get a knife kill. That's wild. God, Omen is just so cool. The heck? Oh, I saw ult classic. Oh, they got the gang pulling up. Oh. He's ready for overtime. I love Clove. Wow. Oh, oh. This is the lore, right? Oh, bullets went through that. Ooh, whose hand is that? New agent? New agent's preview? Wait. Okay. Okay, Valorant. Okay. That is such a fun trailer. Not too much to unravel in terms of like technicality. Like we already, the map is already out. So we don't really need to dissect that part. But the lore, I think the biggest implication of the lore was that last clip, right? Of 
whoever they have trapped in there is defrosting now, I guess. And then they're going to come back to life or come back to the real world. I don't know. I don't know. I love that. Okay. Since we've seen the trailer, let's let's go through our lore thread here. So like I said, this lore thread is by Strawberry79. Strawberry79 is the same. If I'm not mistaken, this is the same person we looked at for the clove lore. So we're going to go through their lore thread, read it all the way through, get the, get the juicy details that we might have missed. And yeah, and then we'll chat about it. Okay. So Valorant lore thread time our new map abyss is coming and looking super beautiful and pretty lore heavy Ooh, that's good i love that so let's get started first thing where is the map the cinematic opens up looking towards a snow-covered mountain um coordinates show on the map as alpha earth expected in the middle of the norwegian sea okay so it's like in a norwegian northern region and this is the image that we think is shown basically we think this is like the location they're thinking is the location of where it is. The team we've seen in the second teaser for the map, Omen, Iso, Clove, and Sage. We are not only the first, we are an only, but we only see the first three show up. So only out of everybody that is in this teaser, only we only see three. KO's here. I don't know about this one. The cinematic is mainly the trio going around the facility and figuring out what the hourglass purpose. So what I do know is that Abyss is an hourglass um like facility hourglass is it's like the bad guys i guess um of the valorant universe they're who i'm pretty sure who was like tied to who omen used to work for a lot of the other agents have worked for in the past um and then they have done turn against them and then became a part of the valorant protocol and what i do know about this is that this is apparently where omen escaped to so in the last lore videos omen kind of was going through it he was going through his emotions he needed some time after encountering the dudes that basically made him this way the people the previous hourglass people and having to fight them he kind of needed some time alone so he went to this place i guess to look for answers and i have a feeling this is where they met clove because they said there's a library but clove looks confused but in the teaser for omen finding clove in that player card or in that little preview image uh, it looks like they're in a library, so I wonder if it's this or it's in a different headquarters. But aside from that, we know this is basically where Omen went to go hide away and feel, fight for his feelings and deal with himself. And Sage went to go look for him. This is where she finds him. This is That's why I'm pretty sure where Abyss comes into that lore thread from the last lore video. All around the map, we see the effects of either radionite research or just nature being exposed to radionite. Basalt columns re reacting to radionite activity in the Abyss, strikingly similar to what we see on Haven. For instance, water vortex is new phenomenon. So this is what ha this is what is around Haven. So this is the radionite reenacting with the surrounding Surroundings. and this is what we see on abyss which is pretty cool correlation i think these effects are also visible during different plants through the map please listen to the further description of the map design from the team show yes i was hoping there was going to include this tree here yeah this is a very lower heavy map so that's like part of that like sort of like part of the radionite secrets of the science of hourglass yeah we really had to investigate what does the radionite effect look like on different natural elements so you see the rocks in the distance that you mentioned and then also this tree Okay, so they're talking about the radionite effect. Generally, we can see three um, main sections of the facility being a research botanical garden on B site and library that also features the collection of radionite artifacts, which is mid. And yes, and then the location of the vault on A site. Listen to the further description. So here, let's watch this description from the devs from the show match. Skins like in the map showcase a lot of our uh, weapon skins like in the map showcase part of that lore, part of that story. That is probably some of the funnest stuff that we got to collaborate on because it adds so much and kind of unifies like that Valorant universe. Yeah. yeah, so the idea is like the scions of Hourglass are keeping these artifacts away from the, from the world. And then our agents, uh, they broke in. So <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. I love it. Yeah, so it is kind of like a, a secret underground base or yeah, like, a, it's like, like a, a Bond villain or something. Yeah, so mid is like the library. It's like where they keep all of those secrets. And then uh, B is more of this like botanical radionite research facility. They're like seeing the effects of radionite on different organic elements. And then A side is, um, how would you phrase it, Al? Oh, A side is uh, what we call uh, radionite lockup. Yeah. Where, mm. uh, particular things are kept there and hidden. Particular things! 
<laughs> yes. Yep. I wonder if we'll find out more about that in a yeah. future. Uh huh. Uh huh. So yeah. So A site is where we are. Where that clip at the end of the cinematic, that's was A site. That 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 um whoever is locked away in a vault there. That's where A site is. And B site has the the big radiant night tree, which is very similar to the Gia Vengeance um skin where they have the big tree. So I, that, with the radiant night effect on it. It's very very cool to see like the skins interplay with this map. And the cinematic omen is shown fighting mainly in the botanical section. You can see that the radionite infused water is similar, um, water similar to what we see in a giant vortex flowing in the pipe. So this is the water, the radionite infused water, which is very cool. So you see like all the greenery and the grass from the botanicals growing through. Clovis seen clearing halls. Yes, halls. This is the midsection basically, and um, clove um breaks through that door where the library is clovis seen clearing the hallways in the library section they mentioned the texts are kept, um they kept here are ancient we've always had this question if radio night has a long history with humanity how is it that there's no records of it we're finally getting the answer of that very true i never thought of that it is true how long has radio not been around and clearly it's very ancient it's very old they've had all these texts locked up and hidden for some reason Sanctions of Hourglass have not only been working hard to keep the existence of Radionite a secret, they are, have been sealing any records or knowledge of it at their main base. This is interesting. Why? Because those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Ooh, I like that. That's a bar right there. Snaps for that one. Holy, that is, that is, that's very nice. In a way, Hourglass are making sure humanity has no recollection of their history. And well, we will end up repeating it, obviously. This concept ties closely to the very name of the organization, Our Glass, potentially being the concept of an internal recurrence. It's true because of Our Glass, you continually keep flipping it back and, and it just keeps refilling. Eternal reoccurrences says that time repeats itself in an infinite loop. Yep. Ancient Greece believed the universe is periodically destroyed and reborn, and that each universe is exactly the same as the one before. Received a concept in the 19th century, the eternal hourglass of existence is turned upside down again and again, and with you in its speck of dust. That is a really, really amazing connection to actual history in real life. That's kind of insane that that, that was connected, and this is a video game. You know what I mean? Like, we're connecting Greek philosophy to Valorant right now, guys. This is, this is how deep we are in the rabbit hole of lore right now, and I love every second of it. What is his voice line? This is crazy. It feels like we've been doing this forever. Oh. So, oh. Uh, now that's an... What if this is just an infinite loop? What is Valorant is an infinite loop? Time loop. That would... That's... Oh my god. Oh my god. That's... I, I got it. I did too far. We're going too far. We're going... We're cooking too hard. We're cooking too hard. We gotta stop. Moving on to Iso, who is fighting in the vault. Okay, this is where Iso is. That looks sick. Well, this really looks like some like crazy super villain like hideaway like in a movie or something. Several containment cells visible in the walls and lit by a red light. The cells look empty, but there's one containment cell that is on the other side has someone in it. And this is what we saw at the end. The bullets go through and we see the smoke and we see like the hand kind of like defrosting and like, you know, reacting. This looks like something cryogenic slept in a sleeping pod. Yeah, after the bullet leaks, yep, yeah, it, it is awake. Who is this person? Maybe Agent 8. Ooh. Whoa. So the thing about Agent 8 is apparently there is there is supposed to be an 8th Valorant agent, but there is no record of them. And they have kind of been also erased from history in the sense of the Valorant protocol. Clove does have a line that they mention that there's a locker in the locker room with an 8 scratched out. And Clove is like asking, does anyone know about it? Are we going to talk about it? And like doesn't get a response. So maybe this is Agent 8. Maybe Agent 8 has been cryogenically frozen in this hourglass hideout this entire time. And they just got defrosted. Ooh. And then that's it. So the map is released tomorrow. That's all the lore we really have, which is very true. Until we do like a through row deep dive of like going through the map and like seeing the voice lines. I think the voice lines in the map will give a lot of new lore because the agents always have something to say. So we'll get a hint of that too, maybe in the new map. All right, you've done it again. You've outdone yourself. I love it. I love, I just love that they had the devs talking on the show match. I think that is very amazing to have it come from them and like 
here the lore clarified and like confirmed so that like us us lore people don't look like we just like are walking around with like tinfoil hats on all the time i love that so thank you strawberry 79 on twitter for the lore thread yet again i definitely recommend you guys go follow them they make great lore threads and just share a lot of good lore stuff if you're interested in that kind of stuff on the valorant side of things but that being said that is gonna be the end of today's video oh my gosh i just every time valorant releases new stuff and there's new lore i just have a new found appreciation for all the devs and all the people who work behind the scenes and the fact that valorant is a story like this is a story line this is a cinematic universe with plot lines and background stories i just love that this video game is becoming more than just a video game it's becoming this whole extra world and i really do love that so shout out to the valorant dev team shout out to everyone that works on valorant you you guys are the best even though i suck at ranked i appreciate all the work that you guys put into this game yeah thank you guys for watching this lore video i hope you enjoyed comment any of your lore predictions below if you have any new information you want to share please share it with us we love lore here <laughs> we love lore so share it and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thanks bye